I can't yeah. remember exactly. I think, I think it was 92. Yes. I, I, it was the it definitely was the 90s. Definitely 90s. Yes. yes. Leila, do you remember? <laughs> 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 was it by Big Mountain? No, no, the sweat. Uh, inner circle. Inner circle. Inner okay. circle. Yes, okay. yes. Oh, no, it was. Yeah. I think it was 92. Anyway, I, I love it. I love it. Yes, listeners. So by now you know we've also been joined by uh, Ghana's favorite pundit, as many like to put it, the man Anod Asamwabedu. Yes, he's right here with us. And Leila is also here. Leila, welcome again. How are you Thank doing? Thank you. Good, good. How's the family? We're good. Doing well? Yes. How's life in the States like? And where would you like, where do you prefer living the most? Honest. Uh, where do I prefer living the most? Ghana I would actually or the prefer to live in Toronto. Canada? Yes. Why? It's very welcoming. Like, I, you don't see your color necessarily when you're there. Uh, you know, but in LA, you see your color, you know. Yeah, in Ghana, there are a couple of, you know, little issues here and there, like healthcare <laughs> and roads and crazy drivers, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, Canada's a mirage. I mean, I've not lived there, so I'm just saying from visiting, you never know. I lived there for like a week and be like, you people are crazy, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm leaving, <laughs> I'm going back home. <laughs> 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 okay, so Toronto, Canada. That, that's an interesting choice. I don't, I given know. the chance, where would you like to live? You have also traveled very widely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, a couple of years ago, I met you at the um, at Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Airport. Really? But I didn't, I didn't call you. You were with a certain other lady, but okay. I didn't call you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know there's an international traveler. <laughs> the okay. man travels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need his miles then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, yeah. given the chance, where would you like to live? Ghana. Ghana. No yeah, place like I always make, miss the food. Okay. Anytime yeah, I that's travel, true. the food yeah. kills you me. Mean, the, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. true. So yeah. Ghana is ultimate. Uncle Gan. He took the word. <laughs> <laughs> of course I like Ghana. Mm. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's like home, boy. Mm. Well, interesting. I, I, I'll share mine later as we go along. <laughs> share, 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 share. Eh? Share now. Who, me? Uh, oh, where, where I love to live. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. With Germany. <laughs> with Germany. Germany, yeah. No way. There's a place in Spain. So Spain, as, that's no, all. not Spain, Spain. There's a particular place in Spain, mm -hmm. Algeciras. Oh, mm. Okay. Yeah. And where is it? It's along the southern coast of Spain. It's in Spain. Yes, it's in Spain. Uh, so Spain. No, Algeciras, not Spain oh. specifically. I've been to other places in Spain, but I prefer Algeciras. Okay. It's like when you ask me where, um, if I'd love to live in France, not exactly in mm -hmm. Paris or in it, but there's a place called Nice in mm -hmm. France. Yeah, nice. mm -hmm. I'd mm -hmm. love That's to live in it. George, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm telling you the And then we could say places. same too. So say <laughs> same. <laughs> there are places in Ghana no, no, I would rather me. live. <laughs> like where? Like, like a Cropong. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, yeah. You like the so uh, yeah, so yeah, you are uh, telling me a couple is not in Ghana. I'm not saying so. I'm only saying you had your choice. I also have my I'm choosing where I love. <laughs> Leila, welcome. Thank you. Again. I mean, um, you, you, you are, you are, you are different in many ways. We read about you, we hear about you, but a lot of people do not really know you. Who is Leila Jansi? A human being. <laughs> <laughs> So, sounds like a certain politician who was asked if he was corrupt. Uh, like, are you asking me as a human being? <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I never know how to answer that question, honestly. Mm. I'm a filmmaker. I'm, you know, eh, I think that's about it. I'm a filmmaker. I make up stories for a living. What, how did you end up in film? Tell us about your background. Where were you born? Uh, what kind of house did you grow up in? What were the influences? What were the things that led you toward film? I mean, you, you speak well. You could have been a lawyer or any other thing. Why? How did you get I there? was going to be a gynecologist. And from there, I was going to be a forensic scientist because wow. of Nancy Drew. It was childhood pipe dreams. But my mom was a big influence. Mm -hmm. um, my family grew up in India, so my mom would... My mom was exposed to Bollywood, and then she also has always been an avid reader. So growing up to help us learn how to cook, she would make us cook with her, and then she would tell us stories. And so to hear the end of the story, you're going to have to cook with her again the next day. Mm -hmm. So I think that fed my love for storytelling and listening to stories. So very early, I went to Kabori school for my primary in Ho. I, I literally grew up, like, all my life has been in Ho. We just moved to Accra in 2020. I've never lived in Accra. So wow. 
yeah, this is my first experience. Every day I'm in a car, and it's 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 an experience. But um, I remember in uh, Kabori we had a library period. So during library period, we take stories and share the parts, and then perform plays. So it kind of started from my mom, and then you know the library period in school, and here we are right now. So you perform plays. Yes. Which was only your favorite place? I never acted in them. I directed. The ah, <laughs> so the start uh, started early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. One of my favorite, my favorite plays actually have been all biblical plays. I okay. really love the story okay. of Ruth. Yeah. Yeah, I've always loved that particular story. So um, that's one of the stories we performed. We did stuff with uh, Shakespeare. Uh, Hamlet, mm -hmm. Macbeth, mm -hmm. yeah, and then we now did Aesop's Fables. <laughs> 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 and we did Aesop's Fables, you okay, know, the yeah. fox yeah, and the tales, you know and the tales, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, 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 yeah, Lady Bug books, exactly. yeah, yeah. Those were the jam back in the day. Then Sweet Valley High came in. So, so at which point did you leave home for the stage or? Uh, after high school. Okay. After Maoli school, I went to Maoli school. Okay. Go have you. Yeah, so I went to Maoli school, and then I got a scholarship after Maoli school to do a film, to study film in Savannah College of Art and Design. So I went from Savannah College of Art and Design to the Art Center in Pasadena, California, and I just stayed on in California. Interesting. Very interesting. And you've been making films since. <laughs> Trying to. No, no, you're not. Trying. <laughs> you know you are. No, I'm trying to make the film. I, I mean, I'm, I'm still getting to the point where I want to make the films that I actually want to make. I want to make Bond, so I'm, I'm still on that path. Until I make Bond, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, as in the James, James Bond. Bond, yes, that's you, my you, goal. You, you want to direct James game. Bond. What? You want to direct a James Bond yes, movie? Yes, that's my end game. You mean Albert Arbro Coley, Ian Fleming, James I Bond? I kid you not. I used to watch it with my dad since I was 10. Wow. We stay up at night, and it's the only time my, my mom allows us to stay up at night. It's either boxing or Bond films that come on at night with my dad. Which is your favorite Bond film? Oh, my God. Yeah. You know what? You're asking a very difficult question right Plus now. It's hard to choose, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Skyfall definitely. You know, and Skyfall then, for me is the best from Daniel I Craig. I think it is. Yeah, because it, it was really emotional. It is the best. Yeah. 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 The spy who loved me comes close. That's classic. It totally, <laughs> that totally, is classic. totally. That is. Yeah. Uh, Arnold, which is your best Bond movie? Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Is it the movie or the title? It's both. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, both. <laughs> really? Might get corrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The title really I'm supposing that's Sean Connery, right? I think oh. that's a, a more. Uh, more. Roger that was Roger Moore, yeah. rather. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, interesting. Octopus, actually. Uh, uh, Uncle Ken, which is your favorite Bond movie? Oh, you are not a Bond fanatic. Oh, we discussed Bond. Uh, yes, I remember. I remember? Yeah. Some time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> My favorite actor was, uh, Bond actor was Sean Connery. Yep. Mm -hmm. He was good. Suave, you know. I mean, he carried the role so efficiently mm -hmm. and effortlessly. And so I like the early James Bond movies. Yeah. Interesting. You uh, know, okay. Yes, interesting the ones. Yeah, uh, not my favorite uh, Bond actor, though. My favorite uh, uh, Bond actor is... Daniel uh, Craig? No, not Daniel Craig. Well, Pierce Bond, Brosnan? I, Pierce Brosnan is my I man. Can't, he's hot. I <laughs> love Pierce. I love, yes. so, so you agree with me? Oh, no, Pierce, I mean, I don't know yeah. if he's my favorite. You know, when I really think about it, Timothy Dalton was not bad. No, no, he License wasn't bad. to Kill. Yeah, License to Kill. He was short-lived. Yeah. Yeah. He was short-lived, yes. but he was not bad at all. No, I wasn't. mean, I like Daniel Craig because he's angry. Mm -hmm. that, that's he brings a like. certain act. Well, it helped for the stories. Yeah. But Bond is a bad boy. Smooth. He oh, was a bad boy, too. You know, no. no. Too too much much action. Crack, crack, too much action. Too, too much action. action. Too much action. Too much giddy. Too much giddy. Exactly. With really? time. Yeah. With time. Yeah. The Bond character evolved. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. The story. Yeah. Yes. They went backwards yeah. with the yeah. story. You know, so yeah. It suited certain certain exactly. actors mm -hmm. in that role at a particular time. time. But when it started with Sean Connery, you know, Bond was uh, portrayed as this suave, yes. soft, yes. soft, yeah. conniving, yeah. smart, smart yeah. guy. Exactly. You know? And oh, he played it effortless. And with the ladies, he had exactly. Oh. And, and in, in all honesty, <laughs> let's agree. I think um, we can't deny the fact that Sean was 
the young Sean Connery was the finest James Bond. Mm. Oh yeah, he mm. was. I mm. mean, you 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 oh, have to write I mean, him down oh, in history. Oh, oh, no. yeah. You don't no, agree? Me, I, I agree with Roger Moore. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you see, that's that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I so can going back to watch Sean Connery. Yes. Yeah, I mean Roger Moore. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Roger, Roger was I mean, good. And Roger was second to Sean. Yeah, yeah. Comparing. Yeah, good. Anyway, so you want to direct a Bond movie? What do you make of this debate about a black dude playing Bond? Oh my God! I'm about to make headlines. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am one of the people who do not think a black guy should play Bond. I love you. I'm I'm being very honest. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love Idris, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I I always rolled my eyes. Yeah. I mean, give me like Charlie Hunnam. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, what's the name of the guy who played? Um, DC um Superman, I forget his name. Um oh come on. Yeah. Oh, Bring so him the, up. I'm yes, thi- I'm hoping yes, he yes. would get it. I'm yeah. even thinking uh there's another guy who crossed my mind a couple of days ago. I forget his name. But if it comes up I'll, I'll mention it. But I mean Bond is supposed to blend in. Mm-hmm. And look, you cannot deny race in the world. We're mm-hmm. black. Everywhere we go, we mm-hmm. stick out. Exactly. And if everybody knows that this double O, this MI6 <laughs> guy is black, they're going to snipe like... You die for a <laughs> Story-wise, the escapism will not be there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. fine. Give me a mm-hmm. black guy in Bond, but give me... You know, what's the one with, that was set in um, Louisiana where the villain was the voodoo guy? Um... What's the? Th- it, it's the I know, right? Like up. the internet oh, is not on. working here, so I I, I don't remember the yeah. title either. One but second. give me a bad well, guy like you. that. Yeah. yeah. Who's black? I mean, yeah. Idris would play a phenomenal villain mm-hmm. in that role. Yeah. So yeah, but to make to Bond make him the black, Bond? No, 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 I agree. No. I agree. No. I totally agree too. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I know that I I did a post on it. I don't yeah, know if you, you saw did, it. You yeah, and I was totally against it too. And worst of they brought a black girl. I don't have a more. problem with the black girl. I mean, a I black think, girl to play 007. Well, I mean, you saw the film, right? I'm yes, like, I did. what I did is she why. doing in there? Thank you. But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not because she was black, but for yeah. me, I was offended that they had the audacity mm-hmm. to replace Bond. Exactly. You know, I don't care whether she was pink, green, blue, black. Like, do not replace Bond. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Don't do that. That's sacrilege. I agree with you totally. Yeah. So the ultimate goal is for you to. Director Bond movie. Yes. How many times are you going to ask it? I, I, I mean, <laughs> I it, think it, it's, it's bold. Overwhelmed by the know, yeah, I know. It's bold. <laughs> it, I know. It's very, very, very yeah. bold. In actual fact, I thought she meant she was going to try and come up with the Bond concept. Okay. No. Not actually direct the franchise. A Bond movie. The, yeah, yeah. the yeah. Franchise. franchise. I want to direct the franchise. That nice one. Bold. Thank you. Go so, girl, for me. No, but, no, <laughs> no, but there are situations where you have co-directors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'll be willing yeah. to be a co-director. I mean, well. but it's very difficult. Mm. I mean, if you are like Cohen brothers, mm, and you yeah. have that understanding. But I not. I mean, Kerry Fukunaga, like he he just did his first bond. Yeah, so in the next ten yeah. years, mm. I should be able to do yeah. my first mm. bond. Mm. Mm. I mean, if I'm 60, I could still do a bond. No, definitely you can. I mean, so, 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 yeah, yeah, so are you, are you, are you, if you're 90. Of course. Yeah. Are, are you then taking any steps toward that? Yeah, guys. I'm about to, I, I, now yeah. I'm looking, the scripts that are coming to me that I'm paying attention to right now are mm-hmm. only horror and sci-fi. I'm wow. getting out of drama because I'm building up towards that. Mm-hmm. So my next project mm-hmm. is going to be a thriller. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So, cause I need to start building my resume. How difficult that. or easy is it? you know, breaking through in the States for a, a black movie director like you? It's very hard, especially if you have an accent. Mm-hmm. It's very, 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 very... If you're black, you're a woman, you have an accent, I mean, it's just layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. But I, I've been rereading um, Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers, just to, like, um, you know, inspire myself. And I mean, it's opening up a little bit, you know, when Gina Prince, by the word, when she directed uh, Old Guard, we were all excited because a black woman did that. She opened doors for us. So right now, it's easier to take. I mean, COVID came in and just shifted everything. Yeah. But right now, for a black woman, it's easier to get into rooms. You know, like during COVID, I got into rooms. I was like, okay. You know, so it's getting easier because there are a lot more black women who are doing um, 
stronger pieces of material. We are being allowed to do better material. You know, we're getting the money to make better material. So now is the time to put your best foot forward. Yeah. And get in there. Mm. And get in there. Yeah. Working in Ghana. I mean, how much work have you done in Ghana so far? Single for well, sinking sands, ties that bind, nothing a fair, like cotton twine. That's a lot. Singles, <laughs> yeah. Six titles. Yeah. I did six titles in Ghana. Is it difficult working in Ghana? Yes. Why? What makes it difficult? What are the challenges? Um, a couple. I mean, first of all, it's fun. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I got to put that out there that it's actually enjoyable because when I'm directing in Ghana, I don't feel like a black woman. Mm-hmm. So as for, I got to put that out there first. Mm-hmm. I blend in and, you know, I, can, I don't have to mind my words. So much as opposed to directing in LA when I'm I'm twirling my hair, have to like be careful that I'm not angry. You know, there are more restrictions. I'm, I'm more aware of myself when I direct. You know, in America. What well, you cannot be angry when you're directing. I mean, a black woman. We have so many walls that wow. are built for us. <laughs> not we don't build. Like once you raise your voice, or oh, you're aggressive. Oh wow. Exactly. <laughs> so you know, even. I mean, I remember when I was working on Word Children Play, my DP, who was like my friend, he was my friend, and he said that. So I set up a shot, and then he looked at me and was like, Leila, you know what? For a girl, you're really smart. I'm like, that is not a compliment. But he thought, he's Italian. What does he know? He thought he gave me a compliment, but it was not a compliment. And I'm like, Pete, that was not a compliment. That was an insult. Why? I'm a girl, so I'm not supposed to be smart. You know, so I enjoy working in Ghana because in Ghana, I'm expected to be smart. Exactly. You know, and if I fail at being smart, people look at me differently. So I enjoy working in Ghana because I can bring all of me. You understand? I mean, the challenges have been really the work ethic across board in Ghana. I mean, um... I run a bakery in Ghana right now, and it's the same thing where people do not understand routine, right? If I hire an AD in Ghana, dude wants to sit down. An AD, you don't sit down. Mm -hmm. You stand throughout. 17 hours, you stand. When I'm standing, you're standing. When I'm running, you're running, you know? But they want to sit down. They want to doodle at lunch. If you're the AD, you're doodling at lunch, we're going to be behind. Stuff like that. I mean, you have people not prepared, things getting done late, being done at the last minute. And then, of course, you have technical issues like equipment, terminology, you know, being different. And then the learning curve, which is sometimes almost non-existent because you see this today tomorrow they repeat the same thing like keep the salt here tomorrow the salt is somewhere else. i thought i said keep the salt here <laughs> stuff like that but apart from that i mean like arnold said the food mm-hmm. makes up for all of it <laughs> 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 maybe that's why the ad is enjoying lunch <laughs> uh, obviously obviously yeah when he sees the uh, uh, peanut butter soup yeah and the omotu uh-huh. forget uh, you know, himself. yeah he's in a different <laughs> world he's in a different world you know you you outline a number of challenges um where do you think the problem emanates from wh- wh- is it from our upbringing is it from the training institutions where do you think the problem is from and how can it be solved i honestly don't know and maybe uncle ken can you know he's the wise one here <laughs> 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 I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. I think I even posted something on my Facebook a couple of times asking the same question that why are we like this? The way we are. Why are we the way we are? Why can you not leave your business in the hands of a Ghanaian and walk away? Mm -hmm. You know, why can we not, you know, support our businesses to grow? How come like white people can come here and open a business and then they get success. But then when a black person opens a business, his fellow black people run the business to the ground. Like those are questions that I have. I'm actually interested in the answers too. So I mean, people have it, let us know. There are film institutions in Ghana that train people. Mm -hmm. 
let us put the character aside. Do you find professionals to work with, people who are good at what they do, compared to those that you have out there? Wow. Comparable. Mm. I can compare. Like, someone like Ajete Anan. Yeah. Like, I've directed Bruce Davison, who's one of the most dedicated actors, Oscar-nominated that I've worked with. I would totally compare his work ethic to Ajete Anan. Yeah. Right? Uh, Crew-wise... I had, an, I had a first AC, second AC actually on 40 and single. Uh, Kelly. Kelly is phenomenal. Definitely Kelly. I've worked with amazing key grips. Like grips in Ghana are great. I uh, mean, my production manager, Zori. Oh my God, I have a date with him tonight. <laughs> 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 Zori's great. I mean, I, there are people that I would say... Um, yeah, on par. So, yeah. so we could get there then? Absolutely. Discipline, that's all. Just a little discipline. A little pinch yourself, feel a little pain. You know, don't wake up at 10, wake up at 5. You know, like, just a little get up, get up, get up. Do it, do it, do it. Pep talks. Absolutely. If I ask you to name, say, five Ghanaian actors you've enjoyed working with aside of JTN and which other names would pop up? Jocelyn. Duma. I love Jocelyn. Totally love Jocelyn. Um, Amake, she stresses me out. <laughs> but if I don't say her name, she would send people to kill me. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I've enjoyed working with Mami Dokunu. Yeah, Grace. Omabu. Dori Sakete. Yeah. Oh my goodness. David Donto. Mm -hmm. Lucky loss. She's my sister. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to mention more than five. Uh, uh, Nashoko. Definitely. Nashoko is lovely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I'm forgetting some names, but. Yeah, I mean, John Dumelo. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, John is a sweetheart. Yeah. No, no, now we call him Honorable John Dumelo. <laughs> oh, hell, see, I have a problem with his political <laughs> side, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. I interesting. think he should be doing politics. I think he should be working for the Ghana film industry because he has a charisma, he has the ideas. Any need for him to go into corrupt Ghana politics. Just stay and help us out. You think he should probably be sitting at the National Film Authority yes. as the lead? Yes. Yeah, 100%. But Film Authority already has someone leading. No, there. assuming there was nobody there. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like people like John, uh, Majid, they have a certain charisma. They have a certain following that when they round up the masses, people would actually follow them. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like it would be great for them to build from within. Yeah. Solid. Well, um, the two gentlemen that we have are <laughs> very solid pundits. <laughs> Ghanaians do not know Arnold very well. And today, I'm going to let them get to meet him. But <laughs> while he's here, he might as well be part of this conversation. Mm. Gentlemen, Leila is in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I walked in. Um, a producer called me yeah. yesterday. Okay. And uh, he said to me, Unupa, Teten. I said, cool. And he said, uh, tomorrow, can you come in at half past two? <laughs> I said, ah, by you, why? Half past two to do what? <laughs> you know, to do what at half past two? Because I know the routine. The routine, yeah. Right? So I was like, to do what? He says, oh, your girlfriend is... <laughs> coming on the show. So I said, who? So he said, Leila. I said, wow, is she? Then I will pause and come. <laughs> so that's why I came early. Yeah. And uh, I'm so happy to meet her. This is the first time I've met her face to face, you know, but I've known her over the period because I got to know Leila without meeting her. Yeah on the phone while I was with the Cinematograph Exhibitions Board of Control. Mm. She called me one day from nowhere. I mean, she didn't know me, but yeah. I think I, I, she got my number from somebody and she called me. So she said, oh, I have a film that I'm supposed to premiere. 
and uh, I need, I understand I need to bring it here for you guys to have a look at it. So can you work on it for me? I said, well, why not? Yes. Get the film ready. I told her how, what to do. And she did it. And I watched the film. I made sure I asked to be a panel member mm. to watch the movie. So <laughs> I didn't know her, but I'd heard of her prowess in filmmaking. Yeah. So I really wanted to see who this uh, lady they've been talking about is like. Yeah. So I got the chance to watch Sinking Sands. And George, I tell you what. It blew me away. It sure oh, will. Thank you. The whole film just, and if you ask Philip, I've been going on and on and on yeah. about Leila since then. That's why he yeah. says, oh, your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Because I've watched other films, yeah. you know, that she's produced yeah. in Ghana. Like she mentioned uh, Jocelyn as somebody she enjoys working, working with. with yeah. You know what? Until I watched her Northern Affair, that's that Jocelyn and uh, John. Yeah. I had not thought of Jocelyn as uh, an actress, so to speak. I so saw Jocelyn mm -hmm. more as a model, mm -hmm. that kind of person, you know, because of her looks and the way she is. But when I watched Northern Affair, I got, I changed my mind about Jocelyn. I said, wow, because she played the role so well, you know, and uh, she depicts, her movies depict proper scenarios, you know, and so when I sit here and she tells me she wants to move away from drama and venture into sci-fi, I say, oh God. <laughs> Why? Because the <laughs> films, George, I know you've watched some of her films. Oh, I have. The films uh, that she treats social matters, yeah. huh? and the way she goes about it, absolutely, uh, you know, excellent. And uh, I just hope that she can do the same when she steps up to sci-fi. Oh, thank you. Now you're going to make me cry. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, she she, she's a good filmmaker. <laughs> A and you. for me, I think she knows. I know what I'm coming to you, Sean. Yeah, I think she 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 is a pro. Do you do yes. your own casting, or you have a somebody who manages the casting for you? I do my leads, uh -huh. and then I have a a casting director who does my day players. Because your leads and um, in fact those that actually drive your movies are always spot on. It's as if the scripts were written for them. Mm -hmm. It's as if you Thank write you. the script we with give, those people to in God. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Only problem is that you haven't casted George Quay yet, but um, it's wait, right. who's George Quay? Like yeah. I keep hearing that name. <laughs> yeah, my, my, I, I don't even know. You know, he's <laughs> short, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he's not short. He's presidential. <laughs> <laughs> George, you yeah. see the, the, uh, how Amaki? Yeah. The role Amaki yes, played yes, in Sinking Sands. In Sinking Sands, oh. it was perfect. Mm. And that thing you said about Jocelyn, somebody also said it when we started doing Diddy. Diddy. Yeah. Oh, and they okay. saw the roles I played with her. Okay. Said, ah, you people. I never, when I see you in town, I don't even think you are guns. You, the gun, okay. But this did thing has yeah, exposed yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. And the person just instantly fell in love with Jocelyn because it was mm. so natural. Mm. And you know, when you mm. work with certain directors, you get to learn right. from them. So I'm sure Jocelyn has also picked up a lot from mm. uh, working mm. with Layla. Anyway, Layla. I know. Mm. Well, um, I could kind of just took the, um, what I was going to say out, out of my mouth. Mm. But then, uh, then say all, something else. Of course, <laughs> of course I will. First of all, let no, me. No, you can reiterate what I said. <laughs> I'll go somewhere. Because else. it's the truth. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Yes, yes, I mean, yes, yes, I know here, that was the first thing I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but let me first congratulate you for your ability to project Ghanaian movies in that international uh, market. Uh, before you came into the scene with I Sing Over Well, me, I first of all, I heard of you. Okay. I Sing Over Well. I Sing Over Well, yeah. Um, the exploit that you made with um, African Movie Awards, the nominations that you got, mm -hmm. and then the controversy that proceeded <laughs> with I Sing Over Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I Sing Over Well for days. Oh, yes. I know. Yeah, so... <laughs> After that, you've gone ahead to produce some amazing movies that have been projected on international uh, uh, film festivals. You've garnered nominations on a lot of mov movie award schemes and all that stuff. So, um, you've done well. You've projected us very well. Thank Most you. importantly, it's how your ability to actually project our social, yes. you know, uh, related issues. issues. I mean, from FGM to Troco C right. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and so, I was worried when you talked about the fact that you are making a shift. <laughs> 
from <laughs> drama to, to thriller and sci-fi and all. Yeah. And so the question I don't wanted to ask you was, are we still going to have that connect? You can do, because st- you still mm-hmm. can do sci-fi, mm-hmm. and there will still be that connect with, with the cultural practices and all. Oh, yeah, you know, like mm-hmm. with Jordan yeah. Peele, Jordan yeah. Peele, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. when you, you know you see a film like yeah. Get yeah. Out, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. it is it, it has strong racial messages, messages right. Right. but it's right. a horror film. Yeah. So I'm towing that kind of that kind of line. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I I really appreciate your kind words. Yeah. Like, no, no, um, no. I'm, I'm, I'm a believer in Christ, so I wouldn't <laughs> take that credit for the voice of the people and the voice of God. <laughs> no, but, but, me, but I understand. I mean, if you really want to make that shift, because of course you need you need new oh, challenges. Course. Yeah, of and course. so you've yeah, done yeah, drama yeah, yeah. and you've been successful at it, and uh, so yeah. it's about time you made mm-hmm. that shift mm-hmm. and tried new, you know, mm-hmm. um, and for yeah. and all oh, that yes. stuff. So I'm 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 okay. I'm, I'm just want to, I just wanted to find out if there would be that connection. So you're okay, which means you can give me the money for oh. the film. <laughs> George, <laughs> George, you know another thing about Leila yeah. that intrigues me? It's the title of her films. Very dramatic, eh? <laughs> and unique. And unique. Yeah. You know, Sinking Sands. Yeah. I sit and watch Sinking Sands, and then I ask myself, why Sinking Sands? You know? Mm-hmm. Then you throw your mind back to the deterioration of the affair yeah. between Amma and her yeah. husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like quicksand. Yes, yeah. to the point where he gets disfigured mm-hmm. yeah. and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, things mm-hmm. break. Apart, totally. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Totally. Then totally. it connects you to the title. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. Another it, one. It actually came yeah. from a hymn, you know, on Christ a solid rock I stand, oh, okay. or ah, other ground okay. sinking sand. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So for me, it was like certain things that we do when you don't seek wisdom, they suck you down. Mm. So that mm. it, part that was. But the so most intriguing was, one ties that bind. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and what was ties that bind about? The three women being yeah. bound yeah. by similar mm-hmm. childbearing issues. That's right. Yeah. You know, and ties that bind. If you think deeply, you would. It's afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but my question. <laughs> yes, I know. Go um, ahead. <laughs> I mean, for a lot of guys who have actually followed you, we know you are very outspoken. I mean, very opinionated. You speak yeah. your mind, and you speak in your mind over the period of over a lot of related issues. However, um, how come you do not really talk much about the structures of the industry? Let's say the film, the Actors Guild. Mm-hmm. The NFA, for example, I, I don't remember the last time I heard you speak on NFA mm-hmm. and and their you know, their dealings and their proceedings and all that stuff. It's been a long time I heard you. You, you mean their drama? Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like you, you you've taken a <laughs> a break from from the politics of the industry. And for who's you, producing for you, this show? Is that bad? I can say <laughs> that, 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 that's him. That's him right there. <laughs> for, 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 a, for a leading figure like you, who who has always been very outspoken. And very opinionated. I'm, I'm kind of worried as to why you'd, you've, t- you've taken some break in speaking on such matters. Is there is there a reason? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. I, I wish I could be a lawyer and answer that question. No, Uncle Ken, you can't. Let her answer her question. <laughs> Uh, do you guys serve like uh, this is juice, right? You want a Do you want a shot of something? I mean, mm-hmm. it'll be my first time drinking brandy, but you can. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, to be honest, mm. the past two years, my sister's been sick, mm-hmm. so I've been very involved with my family. Yeah. Okay. And I've been, you know learning how to bake and sugar craft so like i make mm-hmm. the best cakes <laughs> lovely so if you want a birthday cake call me i can i make it for you and it's only a thousand dollars per cake uh, what 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 thousand dollars per cake yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, but thousand dollars shouldn't be a problem i mean you for know. you i mean come mm-hmm. on uh, you know what i mean i mean yeah it's all right look at your studio just sell one camera <laughs> <laughs> don't worry what's we'll <laughs> up philip <laughs> Um, and so, I mean, look, Ghana Film Industry, I don't know how 
how to articulate it because for me, I'm tired, to okay. be honest. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I, I, I was saying on uh, um, Nashoko show that there's a lot of ego in the industry. So, I me, mean, you talk and you talk and you talk and talk, nothing is happening. Unfortunately, you have options. Mm-hmm. So, you're just like, you just take the option. Exactly. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but that's that's what it is. I mean, mm-hmm. it's interesting you bring up the NFA. I literally just took a meeting a couple of days ago, and they were saying the same thing. I mean, like, I really have no information mm. on the NFA. I think the f- first and last time I heard anything about them, they reached out trying to name the Ghana film industry. I'm like, why mm-hmm. do you want to name the industry? In Ghana in our industry, it's fine. Why do we got to give it a name? But mm-hmm. that was about it. I really have no information yeah. on the NFA. Yeah. And, I mean, David Donto is there. So, I mean. He's their watcher. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, I mean, Uncle David is. I mean, I'm sure there are things in the pipeline. We believe so, too. Interesting. Yeah, you guys are being mischievous. <laughs> <but I> <laughs> 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 no, 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 we're not. I know. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> but yeah. Lena, you see, I mean, I, I can understand your stance, mm. but I'm not convinced. Like, okay, I, I mean, I'm saying this be- because you produce six, if I'm correct, successful movies that featured <coughs> Ghanaian actors, mm-hmm. some probably Ghanaian crew and all. And so you have a market here, mm-hmm. regardless of how bad it has become, but it's a market. Mm-hmm. And so if. If you if you attend to the old baking mm. and selling of cakes, <laughs> I mean it means you, you are leaving these guys, these professionals, you know, to 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 wonder. So for me, I, as a leading figure, I still expect you to 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 say something, you know. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, I mean, two, two <laughs> kings cannot steer a ship. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, like you know, if, if the ship has got a captain, exactly. there shouldn't be somebody else trying That's to right. do mm-hmm. something from okay. behind. You know, if if look. I, my doors are always open. If somebody says, hey, Leila, this is, you know, what we're, like, for example, I'm having daily conversations with Netflix. I'm like, listen, guys, come on. Ghana one, Give one, just one. Yeah. Literally every day I have this conversation with them. So we, we are, you know, there are things that, um, like I'm attending an event later today. It's the launch of a new streaming platform called Homey. Okay. Now, see, these are the places that Ghanaians should support, right? Everybody's like, Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. Well, it's not the holy grail, True. right? If Homie gets lunch, subscribe, support it, grow it, and then you might be getting more money from them than you would be getting from Netflix. But when we zone in on one thing and try to score points with that thing, then we're not going anywhere. And that is why the Ghana film industry, there's no market. I mean, you said there's market, but... Where's the market right now? You know, and so it feels like things are not happening, that the institutions are not working. I don't think it's that. It's that there is no market, mm. right? Because everybody wants to get into Netflix. Everybody wants to get into Netflix. Why? There's Hulu. There's Amazon. Disney there's, Plus. you know, like I said, Homie's coming. There's uh, um, DSTV. Yeah. I think yeah. there's Aquaba, Aquaba TV. Magic. Aquaba, Aquaba Magic. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let, let's stop putting certain things on pedestals, even though they deserve to be there. But let us, if, if Nigeria did not grow its local platforms like Iroko, right. yeah. would mm-hmm. Netflix have looked that way? Yeah. Right. Yeah. If South Africans hadn't grown, um, I think Econet had a streaming platform, Showmax, mm-hmm. Netflix would have looked that way. So what are we growing? So as as Ghanaians, as you know, people like you and me, so which means you should yeah. come to the homie lunch. Yeah. Come today. Oh. Yeah. Wh- 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 where is that happening? Alisa Hotel. Alisa, what time? 5 p.m. Uh, we're okay. still going to be on air, but when we finish, no, we'll I see mean, if we can like, join by 6. Um, yeah, it's the actual thingy is 7. 7, great. But okay. then at the um, yeah, we're carpet is at 5. So, right. Joy FM, come, support, talk yeah. about it, you know, put it out there. Let them find content from filmmakers. Like, we, we're taking Oscar submissions right now. Support it. Stop fighting the Oscar committee. Oh, my God. Like, if I were pregnant, I would have had a miscarriage. Mm. Dealing with people <gasps> on the Oscar committee. Why is Oscar mm. <laughs> <laughs> What, they are fighting you? Oh, I mean, it's, it, it's been a history. Mm-hmm. Since the, the committee was instituted, it's been a history of every year. There's abuse. I mean, we've been called stupid, idiots, um, 
a lot of colorful names we've been called over the years. From Ghanaian filmmakers? Oh, yes! And then I know it's like, oh, you should go out there and support them. Support people who are abusing you every day. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Like It's like marrying a woman who's always fighting you. You're mm -hmm. not going to want to look at her naked. Mm -hmm. Excuse that visual. Yeah. You know, but that's, that's yeah. the problem. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, there's no <coughs> unity. You speak about um, Netflix. Was it? Early on this year, they named you as a mentor or something to do yes. with the UNESCO project. What was mm -hmm. that all about? Mm -hmm. It is. What, what was what was that? What, um, what, what so was UNESCO and Netflix are yeah. trying to develop uh, African voices, African talents. So they instituted a hundred thousand dollar short film fund. Ah. So they receive submissions from all over Sub-Saharan Africa, and uh, so we go in. Well, the the submissions are. I think reduced to about 20, 22. And then we go in as judges to select six, and then we mentor the six filmmakers. So I'm mentoring a Kenyan filmmaker called Voline. Okay. Loved her story, loved her story. Yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Interesting. Mm. Ah, do we have any Ghanaians on there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Heartbreaking. How come? You know, it, 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 again, going mm -hmm. back to what you said, when Netflix al announced the competition, I posted it multiple times on all of my platforms. No, like two comments, one comment. And then if I post something about uh, MPP or NDC, 300 comments. <laughs> I post something about Christians not behaving properly, 500 comments. Mm -hmm. But then when it came to education, no, zero. That's the problem. So how do you grow an industry that does not want to grow? Right. George. Interesting. Yes, Uncle Ken. Um, Going back to the Oscar committee, yeah, and uh, Leila just making us understand that they've had so much, yeah, aggravation with film producers. Mm -hmm. Isn't it because of the quality that, that we're that asking for? You're yeah. asking for, yeah, that triggers all this. Not only aggro. that, they expect us to cut corners. That's the point. Yeah. Oh, people will call you. Can you put my film? Can you put, and I've been accused of hiding the members, but I'm hiding the members because I don't want them to be corrupted or influenced. Mm. So because if everybody knows who is on the committee, now you start buying them. Now we start mm -hmm. internal exactly. fighting mm -hmm. and bickering and then what's going to happen. So it's best everybody is, you know, invisible. Mm -hmm. Since it's, you were set up, mm -hmm. how many Ghanaian films have you recommended for the... So far, only one, which was Azali. 2019. That's 2019, 2019. Yeah. Yes. Arnold. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And this would be the 95th Oscars, this right? This would be mm. the 95th, yes. And um, so you're looking for films right now from yes. Ghanaian. Have you had any good entries so far? So far, we've not received any entry. Not even one. Which is why we're doing the rounds to make sure everybody is aware that submissions have been opened and then hopefully, you know... We have some hidden germs. So, out what do there. I have to do? Submissions have been open. How do I get my submission? You go to on you? Film Freeway and look for the uh, international film category mm -hmm. for Ghana, and then you submit to to that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pretty through interesting. the Film Freeway link. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm sure there are some good films out there. They're going to come through eventually. Hopefully. They're hopefully. They're going to come through eventually. Yeah, I think yeah. people are getting scared of submitting. Because, I mean, last year, last, was it last year? Two years ago, the films that we got, oh, my goodness. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, filmmaker, know thy film. Do, don't, don't do this. Don't send this anymore at all. But I think the controversy to a point has been good because I feel like right now people are censoring their films more, like actually judging their content mm. to, and then asking themselves questions is it even proper, right? I think the way forward is to determine the identity of Ghanaian films. Uh -huh. What's the voice, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And then from there, we would look at Nigeria. They get entries every year because they found their voice. So I think Ghana needs to find its voice. We need to find our voice. Yeah. Yes. I like the fact that you said when you post something controversial, 300, 500, <laughs> are you a controversial person? Nope. I post uncontroversial stuff. 
And you know, activism mm. is always controversial. Because I recall, was it sometime last year? I think I read something about homosexuality on Oh your my gosh. Page? Yeah, I was going to go there. Oh, you were going to go there. Yeah. Uh, you also saw it, eh? Yeah, I yeah. mean. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and, no. And, and what was her comment? Yeah. <laughs> I think I she was sort of advocating I that, um, no, you know. I mean, no, really, I think you, you, you had directed aha. a movie or something like that that had a gay scene. That's no, right. In there. I did. Uh, uh, ho okay, ho ho hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. Monday morning. And somewhere in Ghana, land of my parents, school kids are singing, God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. Bold to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. Fill our hearts, you know, make us cherish, blah, blah, blah. And then we go on. That's the national anthem. Here's to constantly using my voice and platform to defend and speak up for the oppressed. Bring on the name calling. I am made of strong stuff. No one will be killed maimed beaten or oppressed on my watch when you choose to fight for what's uh, you, hey what kind of move <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> you say things you know i mm -hmm. i was very mm -hmm. disappointed yeah. in the lgbtq bill yeah 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 and i i mean to be very look i'm gonna say it right now i was disappointed because no bill has been passed like that for women who get raped okay you understand? You so that, why yeah. are we worried now because guys could get raped? Right? Mm -hmm. Where are the bills that protect young girls? Two days ago, my dispatch writer was watching a video, was showing two other people in the restaurant, and they were screaming like, what is it? Two kids were having sex, and someone was filming it. I'm like, do you, do you realize that is child pornography? It is. Why don't we have bills for that? For that. Right? But for someone in the name of political expediency, and I know some of the people are writing this because they got girlfriends and they got wives. Like, you have not earned the right, you know. But for me, it's more about, l let look, just let people exist. At the end of the day, God is going to judge. So Everybody. let people exist. Leave people alone. Ghana has more important things to talk about, to deal with. Now you want to pass a bill or for LGBT, like which means I cannot even support my friends who are LGBT. If I do that, I go to jail. That, didn't, that, that was just so broad strokes. It didn't make any sense. If you're passing a bill that says um, rape of, you know, all genders. If you mm -hmm. rape a guy, if you rape a girl, you know, I get rape that. Is rape. rape is rape, yeah. you know. But to just single out one thing, two consenting adults, whatever they do in their bedroom is not my problem. It's not my butt. You know what I mean? Like, just, it didn't make any sense. It was so, it was, it was unnecessary. Interesting one there. Very, very interesting. You tuned in to Joy 99.7 FM. It's Showbiz A to Z. We're having a very, very, very interesting <laughs> conversation with Layla Jansi. What kind of music do you like? Um, what kind of music do I like? Mm -hmm. It depends on where it hits me. <laughs> okay, let us bring right it to Right now, Ghana. I'm liking Kanye West, Revelations 319. Solid. Yeah. Let's bring it home to Ghana. Who are your favorite artists? In Ghana? Yeah. Oh, I mean, he's my brother, so Ayigbe Edem. Aha. Now Edem. Edem. Now Edem. Oh, he's dropped no. the Ayigbe. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, now, Why? Now, 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 now we, we got to ask him. Oh, no, okay. He, I think he talked about stereotyping. Oh, of the okay. Ayigbe, okay. You know, so okay. That's good. That's actually good. That's good. Yeah. Solid. But I love him. You love Edem? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's yeah. a cool guy. He's my yeah. man. He's my man. Yeah. Ever thought of entering into politics at some point? I did, and my mom said she disowned me. Oh. <laughs> 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 Why? Uh, my dad was a politician, actually. My dad was one of the founders for, of the National Democratic Congress. Okay. Yeah, and it didn't go down well for him, so I think she has, you know, nightmares okay. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that makes sense. Totally understand that one. But, but it still doesn't mean you should sit back and um, watch your country. There's a lot of... A no, lot I, I'm not sitting back. Like, that is why when issues come up with healthcare, with transportation, with politics... You speak up. You know, we, we, you know, if you have the voice, I feel like you don't sit back and allow other people... You know, a, a citizen who does not criticize his country... 
is what is practice an apathy is that what is that what yeah, that something like that. Yeah. is like yeah. something along those lines right yeah so i mean i always say that if people like martin luther king if um you know if rosa parks when they said get up if she had gotten up mm -hmm. i probably would not be making films in america very true you know so it's important that if you have the voice you know if you have the skill if you have the talent that it's god given he didn't give it to you to hide it he gave it to you to share it with the world right so if you have the voice, you know, if, if we can speak up for women, you know, women's rights, why not? We should. Many have said this probably one of the unluckiest governments we've had in the history of Ghana in the sense that since independence, no government has had to deal with a real, you know, life-threatening pandemic. And then right after that, you have a, a near World War Three war that is affecting the entire globe that they've had to deal with as well. So, um, yes, a lot are complaining Ghana is hard. Mm -hmm. What kind of complaints do you hear and what do you make of government governance in the country at the moment? I honestly have no idea and I am not going to have any political <laughs> conversations. <laughs> I've been trying to make headlines tomorrow morning. But look, I think Ghana people need to stop blaming the government because as individuals, we're contributing to the problems. Mm -hmm. You know, I said something right a few minutes ago that someone came to my restaurant and then he said so are you going to move back to ghana and i said no and then he said you can't live your business in the hands of ghanaians uh -huh. why would he say something like that and he gave me examples because mm. he's a business owner and he gave me multiple examples of things he's experienced right so we keep saying the government the government like when you're going to my house there's a junction mm -hmm. that you make a left mm -hmm. yeah truck, truck drivers block the intersection <laughs> <laughs> that's not government <laughs> that's you right that's you being a non-law abiding citizen you know there are things that as citizens that we could support you know yeah. the government to do but we're not doing it and it feels like we want the government to do everything, everything. for us yeah. like very yeah. soon we're gonna poo poo and expect the government to come, to come clean, clean it your up but you know <laughs> but what are we <laughs> what are we doing as individuals to support i i spent about a month at kolibu and there was one time the gutters were stinking they were uh -huh. oh my goodness you could not breathe and i sw i was observing the cleaners work they had no gloves they had they were wearing flip-flops to distill gutters they had no equipment to distill the gutters and I, work, I went up to them like why are you not equipped to do a good job you know and the kind of responses that you get that's not government that's not akufuado that's not john mahama you know that's not rollins or kufu that's us right so what are we doing to support what are we doing to support you're hearing the voice of Layla Jansi and the station is Joy 99.7 <laughs>
I promise I'll pick up some ice cream for Araba's birthday party. We know that life is go, 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 and that it's hard to make time for the things that really count. That's why with Absa's digital channels, you can bank when, where, and how you want, so you can focus on what or who is important to you. Get things done simply with our digital channels. That's Africanacity. That's Absa. The 7th EMY Africa Awards. Nominees for Actor of the Year. Ajete Anan, Mauli Gabon, Anthony Wood, and James Gardner. To vote for your favorite nominee, visit www.emyafrica.com and follow the prompt. Or like the nominees post on the EMY Africa Instagram page. Or text EMY plus the name of your preferred nominee and category to short code 1393. Voting ends on the 22nd of September, 2022. Hello, my name is Na Ashakoi, and I'm excited to lead you into something absolutely amazing. It's a one cast play called Five Hours with Mario. See you there. Globe Productions in partnership with the Embassy of Spain. Yeah. Joy Entertainment presents the Latif Abubakar adaptation of Miguel de Libby's novel, Five Hours with Mario. Live at Accra International Conference Center on September 3rd and 4th. Two shows each day, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. For 80 Ghana cities, dial star 447 star 1092 hash to grab your tickets now. Tickets also available at Joy FM, Bachona Total, and Airport Shell. Five Hours with Mario is sponsored by Ghana Link, JK Ahia Domi Transport and Logistics, HD Plus, Zaina Lodge, Yomi Yogurt, and GhanaCEO.com. Graphic Online, powered by Joy Entertainment, Globe Productions, experience the best. Gripping conversations, business opportunities, and inspiring life stories in the engine room. We have it all. Tune in to Springboard, your virtual university with Reverend Albert Okran, this Sunday at 7 p.m. on Joy 99.7 FM, Facebook, and YouTube. Catch the repeat telecast on Joy Prime every